What's up everybody, Bill Tendo here, and today we're going to be doing an unboxing, an unboxing of the Odin 2. Now this technically belongs to a customer of mine <coughs> who bought it new and had it sent here so that I could mod it for him. Because I do a lot of that. So we're going to open this up, we're going to see how it comes. If you don't know what an Odin 2 is, this is a competitor to the Steam Deck. And if you're into retro emulation, if you want to run OG Xbox, if you want to run um, PlayStation 2, uh, this is probably more of what you're looking for. The Steam Deck does have its advantages, but the Odin 2 actually has quite a bit more when you're looking in the realm of retro emulation. Uh, I'm also told that it's more portable. So, we have this tab here. Oh, it slides out. Okay. Like so. And this slides out. Oh, this is really nice boxing, by the way. I don't even know where to set this right this minute. I have so much going on. So. We have an interface instruction card. Printed with metallic ink. I like that. You can see the glare on it. That's nice. Phone protector. Now, he also ordered a travel case, but he didn't send the travel case here as that wasn't necessary. As I'm not going to be traveling with this particular item. He will be. Now... Set that aside for just a second. This should just be a charging cable or a link cord. Whichever you need. That's what it feels like. Yep. There's a USB-C to USB-C. Let's see if there's anything underneath here. Because a lot of times there is. And there's not. So now. Let's get to the Odin itself. We're going to take this out of its protective bag now this is smaller just a little smaller than the steam deck and more portable as I said before wow that's pretty nice looking let's so that's where our card goes volume a one on one Buttons and sticks feel really nice on this. Home, return, USB-C, headphones. So this must be our power button here. Let's go ahead and turn that on. Oh, nice. I hope those lines are supposed to be there. Holy macaroni. I think there's damage to this screen. Um, if you can see these lines running through the screen, let's put it on that angle. You can see them running through that way. Um, they're on each screen. Um, And you can still see them. I think there's damage to the screen. Um, that's not good. So, that's a little disappointing that there's damage to the screen. The rest of the unit looks nice. I, you know, it came in that box that we saw, the brown box. Um, I'm going to still be modding on this unit. Uh, there's no reason not to mod it. I'm going to inform my customer that it came damaged. And, uh, very disappointed with that. But, that's not going to stop me from doing what I need to do. So that when he gets a replacement, we can just transfer the information. So, I'll be modding up this Odin 2, I'll set it up, and uh, 
We'll see where we go from. Oh, it's also touchscreen, apparently. Nice. Love it. Okay, guys. Thanks for checking this out. Um, I love the weight of this thing, by the way. Everything feels super sturdy. Like, oh, we got trigger buttons. Nice, nice. Uh, I like back triggers that you can program for extra stuff. So, hmm. yeah, so, okay, let's just look over this for a second. Music, calendar, sound recording, Odin Launcher. Uh, and we have Google Chrome, obviously. Uh, I believe this thing can play Windows. Uh, it can run Windows, specifically Windows uh, 10. But this, actually, this interface here specifically looks as an Android. It, it looks like it's running on an Android system. So I'm certain that it is. Um, all of these icons would suggest that to me. Um, so... I'm going to start doing research and I'm going to start building this emulator and I will be back when uh, I finish it up so you guys can see it all done. Thanks for checking this out.